Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this latest topic. We're on topic number 10, Introduction to Subsection 3.3 and 3.4. You've reached this video because in the course notes you clicked on the link to this video, so thank you so much for that. Please make sure before you proceed that you take that set of course notes and download them to your device of choice. You don't just want to rely on Brightspace to access the course notes. Download them to your device of choice. I promise today's topic, for uh, topic number 10, will be super quick. I'm going to do my best to make it super quick because it's just a quick introduction to the next two topics we'll be playing with. Okay? So the topics we're going to be dealing with today as an introduction are going to be section 3.3 and 3.4. Section 3.3 in the building code is called safety within floor areas and section 3.4 is called exits. Okay? So what we're going to do is for the purpose of today for this topic, t topic number 10, is we're going to look at the difference between a couple of terms, a few terms, exit, access to exit, and means of egress. We're going to learn a bit about the difference between these three topics and then we'll dive more deeply when it comes to the details of exits and access to exits and so on with topics 11 and 12. So let's start first I guess with the definition of exit. Now by now we're at topic 10, by now you know exactly where to find the definition for the word exit in the building code, right? Division A, part 1, great. I also want to remind you that the reason that you know that the word exit can be found as a definition is because in the building code that word is italicized. Okay, So right now uh, I have a little bit of the definition on the screen. It's also referred for you in the course notes. And the word exit in the building code means basically that part of a means of egress including doorways that leads from the floor area to a separate part of the building or an open public thoroughfare or an exterior open space. Okay, So basically in this floor space that you see on the screen, also reproduced for you in your course notes, basically exits is that part of the floor space that are right now the exit stairways. Okay. Now I also want to point out that in the definition for exit, did you notice how means of egress is also italicized? That's because that too can be found as a definition. But I guess more than everything else, I want to point out this. The way that you know that you're entering an exit in a floor area in a building, a legal building in Ontario, is because you see this exit sign over that door. Okay? That's a good way to, to know that you're entering an exit. So in general terms, the whole point of an exit as defined by the building code is that it starts when you leave the floor area because exits, even en uh, anywhere in a building, are very specifically built. And exits start at an exit door, right? And you know that you've reached an exit door because you found that exit sign. Then once you go through the exit door, you enter exit stairs or an exit corridor, and then finally you're outside, which is good because once you're outside, in the event of an emergency, it means that just like in baseball, you're safe. Okay? Alright, let's talk about access to exit. Okay? Now I have the definition up here as well. It's linked for you also in your course notes, referred to in your course notes, and by now you know where I found the definition for access to exit. And it, as it's shown here, access to exit means that part of a means of egress within a floor area that provides access to an exit serving the floor area. It's a bit of a mouthful, right? So the whole point of this definition is that basically if you have a floor area like the one that you see on the screen right now that's also reproduced for you in your course notes, that whole floor area, okay, that whole floor area minus the exits is basically your access to exit. Okay, So on a floor space, the whole floor space except for the exits is the access to exit. 
basically it's that any space in a floor that gets you to an exit. So everything up to but not including an exit. I also want to point out that when you review the definition for access to exit, in that definition means of egress and exit are italicized, which means that you can find those as definitions. Okay, let's move on. So when it comes for uh, the definition to uh, the definition for access to exit, it's basically from anywhere on a floor up to but not including an exit. Okay, so for example, if you look on the diagram on page two, the public corridor, that's an access to exit, and that's because the public corridor goes all the way up to, but not past the exit. The doors in this corridor, okay, so from those rooms onto the corridor, they're not exit doors because they're not fire rated. They may not be fire rated. They're actually called egress doors. Very well. The last thing we'll talk about is means of egress. Okay. This too has a definition in the building code. Means of egress includes exits and access to exits and means a continuous passive travel from any point into a building in a building all the way outside. Okay? So check the definition in the building code for this. Basically, means of egress is everything. Okay? Everything from any point in a building all the way to outside in safety. The definition for means of egress also contains with it more definitions for exits and access to exits when you review the definitions in the building code. So basically, in plain English, means of egress is the continuous path to leave a building safely. It's basically access to exit plus the exit as defined by the building code. So what we're going to do then, starting with the next topic, topic 11, is we're going to dive deeper into safety within floor areas. Basically, what the building code says is required for safety in part 3 buildings everywhere up to but not including exits. Okay, So basically it's how to safely get to an exit. Then in topic 12, we're going to dive deeper into exits. So once we're in an exit, what does part 3 of the building code say that an exit must be built as and what the requirements are for that. Okay? That's it. So we're under 10 minutes. If you haven't already, make sure that you take these course notes and download into your device of choice, please. Other than that, I'll leave you at this. Thank you so much. Take care. I appreciate your time and have a great day.